Well, we're back again. What's on the menu today? <laughs> today we're going to dissect a squirrel. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yum, yum. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> well, we're not going to eat it. Mort's going to eat it. Oh, Mort's going to eat it? Yep. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, I'd eat it if I knew how long it was dead. Yeah. Well, it was in the freezer for almost a month now. Yeah, but the thing was is that we don't know. Yeah. Like, we didn't catch it, so... You know, and well, I don't know how. Be very careful of the microphone. Oh. That's where it is. Well, I didn't have my finger on it. Almost. No, we didn't catch it, so it's you know, uh, you know, I, yeah, I we don't want to eat it. If don't want to eat it, it. No. no. Or I didn't see it run over, so. Yeah. Well, it was caught in a giant rat trap. Oh, it was caught in a rat trap. Yeah, my sister's been catching them. Yeah. Well, that's a that's an easy way, you know, like. You know, for survival tips, yeah. the rat trap is great for catching squirrels, right? Because they're about the same size, kills them dead, right? And, yeah. uh, you know, you can set up your squirrel trap line with rat traps. Yeah. You know? And then it's squirrel stew. Mmm, doggy! Second pair of gloves for the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, what, what, what did you you found some teeth and stuff? Oh, in yeah. Your room? Yeah. 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 I was soaked by the, the I guess you could call it the dump site. The yeah. body farm. The body farm. Our own personal animal body farm. Well, let's see what we got here. He's been defrosting overnight and then he's sitting out in the bottom of the stove. Ah, oh, the poor little thing. Oh, boy, that looks that looks like a tasty one. Yeah, and that's what we will be working on today. Nice, nice. Yeah, I would have. I should have been using these trays before because I had them. I had them in my closet. I've got a lab coat too, but it's too cold to wear a lab coat out here today. Yeah. Well, it's nice and sunny. There's no flies around. Not yet, anyway. All right, and that's a good thing. How's your supply of? Uh, of blades? Blades. Um, I should get another box, maybe. I might want to put that board on that rack. Or on that bed bag. Bed? Yeah. yeah the, the nails on them are really sharp. Yeah. Um, there's still a little bit of freezing there. Last night before bed, I was looking at videos of the body farm. Yeah, you showed me that one with the squirrel eating the pig head. Yeah. Eating the jerky off the pig head. That, that wasn't from the body farm. No. The body farm thing was interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll have to watch the whole documentary later. Yeah. Um, the blades that I'd like to get, I think, are number 22s. Those are the curved ones. Yeah, the ones with the curve. Didn't, I get, I, you, didn't I get you some Not the curved. The, these ones. You got me a bunch of these ones. Okay. And I got a bunch of the minis okay. from Mum one time. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll certainly get some. Mm. Better than an X-Acto knife, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. Well, they're sharper. I could probably sharpen some of them too. What on, the blades? On the buffer, yeah. Mm. Because uh, they'll shave, so yeah. And I can get a knife to shave, so I'll have to do a video on that. What on sharpening knives? Yeah. Well, on how I do it. Yeah, because everybody has their own technique, and you might get somebody screaming at you that you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah. Well, every you know that's the thing. It's, it's like everything. Everybody has their own way of doing things, you know. Mm. See, with the with the more curved blades, yeah. I'd have this already done by now, because it's it's rounded right up the tip and yeah. really good. But we 
got the, I can see the ribs through the flesh. Yeah. We're going to open the chest cavity. Wouldn't you take the whole skin off first before you... Well, I'm going to feed the body to, the, to Mort whole. Oh, this okay. is just the exploratory oh, okay. autopsy. All right. I know how it died. Will he it, eat the whole thing? Oh yeah, Mort will eat the whole thing. Even the tail? Even the tail. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure he'll eat the tail. Now I seen a big coyote scat the other day. Yeah. Where the hell was it? Now, this is the sound that really annoys most people. What's that? That crunches it. Yeah. The sound of the rib cage opening. Where where was I? I saw the you know, coyote. Yeah. It was a long one. It was, well, basically it was pretty old, but boy, I'll tell you, there was a lot of fur in it. Yeah. It was white fur. Rabbit. So it was winter rabbit. Yeah. We've got a lot of coy a lot of coyotes, a lot of rabbits up here right now. Yep. On the lawn on the grass. They'll be around for about the okay. next month. Month and a half. Or maybe two months. Yeah, they'll probably be around for the next couple of months. Of course they don't know because you know, that first year we were here. Yeah, the first year. Because I planted that grape vine. Rabbit came and ate it. Said, Ooh, food! <laughs> and that was in August. Yeah. That never recovered. No. Well, here's the heart. The heart and the lungs are in there. Yeah. Their heart is really small. Yeah, well, it's a small animal. Yeah. But it's quite large compared to the heart of a chicken for the size of the body. Yeah, well, yeah, that's got, you know, that's a whole different, uh, that's a high yeah, energy little diaphragm. animal, right? Yeah. I mean, you just have to see how a squirrel goes, man. I mean, they just go and go and go. like squirrels, except for that one we got stuck in through the stink pipe. Mm. She was a nice squirrel. Yeah, she was a nice squirrel, but geez, what a pain in the ass that was. Mm. Uh, for the viewing audience, uh, basically what happened was our sink backed up. And, uh, if for anybody curious, this was a male. Yeah, I can see it. Geez, he's got quite the set on him, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. Squirrels do. Yeah, they got quite, got quite the set on them. Anyway, a, smoke, uh, a squirrel went down our stink pipe and died down there. <clears throat> and it took a, I worked to get the sink unplugged. And eventually I had to cut the pipe and I saw this black matted fur in there and our hair in there and I said, her You thought hair. you were going to pin it on me. I thought it was going to be her, right? Because at the time her hair was black. And I got a, uh, I got a shotgun cleaning rod with a shotgun brush on it, and I reached in and hooked onto it, and pulled it out. And I thought I was getting a big mat of hair. Well, when the body hit me, I thought rat. I jumped, screamed like a girl. <laughs> he did. He squealed. <laughs> oh, and it was a squirrel. Poor little, poor little thing. All right. That's the one that used that. to follow me around the woods. Yeah. I felt bad about that one. Mm -hmm. See the esophagus here? Yeah. Did you want to take a closer look? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, that's a nice little heart. Yeah. The there's his right liver. Jesus has got a big liver, you know. Yeah. There's the lungs back there. Yeah, there's the lungs there. Yeah. But from freezing, the lungs have gooed. Yeah. People have a really hard time knowing where to take the head off. There's a couple of the animals I've been getting. There's one, the very, very back of the cranium was taken off. Yeah. It's still usable, it just took off the certain parts. 
think this would be easier where he was stuck in a trap and his neck is broken. Oh, it got him right behind the cranium. So I'm going to have to go down further in the neck to cut in. Because yep. I don't want to use the blade that close to the skull. So he, he got wrapped in the right in the back of the neck, did he? Yeah, right back of the head. I can feel the spine. Just trying to find the place where I can go in between the vertebrae. Is this the Bin oh. Loudon autopsy? No, but I just broke a blade on the bone. So where did the wind blow my other blades? Do you want do you want uh, do you want a knife to do it? Um, no, I can usually do it well with a scalpel. I've done coyotes with scalpels. It's yeah. just finding the finding the spot. Finding the spot. So uh, wind. This is Obama bin squirrel. No. Huh? No, it's not the Osama bin squirrel. Oh yeah, Osama. Yeah, I keep calling it Obama. <laughs> Bin Loudon autopsy. Did you throw a rock in there, did you? Okay. We have to flip it over to. We gotta that. throw the body off. We, we have to take our aircraft carrier with. So bury, bury the body at sea. No, we're going to feed it to the birds. Well, I was walking this morning. All the anthills are alive and well. Yeah. Right. Well, we got no flies yet. I've seen a couple of No, but I'm talking flies. about, you know, like, black run flies for cover, mosquitoes. black flies coming. Yeah. All right. This is the hardest I've ever had decapitating. Do you want a knife? No, it, the vertebrae is so tiny, yeah. it's hard to find the in-between spot. Aha, I see the in-between spot here. And also, they're so fragile, you don't want to put any pressure on the head itself. No. Alright, I got that now. It's amazing how fragile the bone is when there's bone. Especially rodent bones. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like that time I killed that mouse. I stepped on a mouse in my sock feet. Boy, that was not wise. No, it wasn't, Tom. No, it, it just crunched. 